Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about some new Windows 11 25H2 features. And also in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable them if you want to manually enable them on your latest dev channel build. Pay attention, these new features are at the moment only available in the latest dev channel build. And if you're wondering what that is, it's the build 26220.6690. This is the latest build. If you have at least this build or even higher, you should be able to manually enable these features. Some of them are hidden and some of them are officially announced by Microsoft. So of course, if you want me to make more videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, let me show you how to enable these features. We're going to use a small tool which is called Vive Tool. It is a very popular tool within the insider community. As you can see, it has over 2 million downloads. And this is basically a tool that will help you enable these features that Microsoft is testing behind the scenes and that you would normally have to manually enable in order to test. So of course, just go in the article below in the video description. You're going to have there the GitHub for Revive tool. Just get the latest version that's it. In this case, I'm just going to get it for Intel and AMD. Open up the archive using File Explorer and then click on Extract All. Click on Browse and make sure you extract it into a dedicated folder. In my case, I'm going to extract it into this PC Windows. And then I have here a folder created hidden features. I'm just going to extract it here. Click on Select Folder. And also, let's copy the location because we're going to need it whenever we are running the commands. Click on extract. In my case, I'm going to have to replace the files in the destination and we are good to go. This is how easily you set a Vive tool on your computer. Now, what we need to do is to open up the search box, type in here CMD, and then click on run as administrator. On your account control, click on yes. Inside CMD, first of all, type in CD and then space, then paste the location where you extracted Vive tool. And now we're going to need a few commands to enable those features, which are basically some IDs that we're just going to enable and we're going to have those features. So for these, a huge shout out to Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com. He found these hidden features, these IDs to manually enable these features. So make sure to give him a follow from the pinned comment below. The commands look like this, vibe tool, base slash enable slash ID hyphen and an ID. This is the first ID. This is the command that will enable the live wallpaper, a new feature that has been recently found in Windows 11 in the dev channel. Don't worry, all these commands will be listed and categorized in the article below in the video's description. So just go there and copy and paste all the commands. You don't need to pause the video or anything. The second ID is this one or command, which is the ID that will enable the new network speed test button. And of course, after each command, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. We also have some new drag tray improvements. And for this, we're going to need three different IDs. Press enter and enable this as well. The next one will be for the new mobile devices settings page and the last ID for the new privacy and security settings page. As I've said, all these IDs will be in the article below. Just copy and paste them from there. And once you run all of them, and you receive the message successfully set feature configuration, make sure to exit out from the CMD and then restart your computer for the changes to take effect. After the restart, you should see all the new features. Let's begin with the new live wallpaper. And if you right click on your desktop and then click on personalize, then go to background, you're going to notice that if you click on browse photos, you're also going to be able to add a .mp4 file and have basically a live wallpaper. I have here an mp4 file. I'm going to choose this and you're going to see in a few seconds that we now have a live wallpaper which is actually something pretty nice. Hopefully Microsoft also lets us customize this even more. This is a really nice new feature. It is a hidden feature right now, so that's why you need to manually enable it if you want to test it out for yourself. Next up, we have the new network speed test button. If you right click on your word network icon, you're going to have here a button perform speed test. If you click on it, the Microsoft Edge will open inside Bing. And as you can see, you will be automatically redirected to this internet speed test section inside the Bing search engine. I'm sure that not a lot of you are fans of the Bing search engine. But of course, it is nice that we have a quick shortcut that we can use to quickly perform a speed test. We also have, as I've said, the new drag tray improvements. So for example, if I drag a file, the drag tray will appear. But now we also have the option move to folder. If I were to click on that, you're going to be able to see that we can now quickly move a file to another folder. So for example, if you have a file on your desktop, let's say this one, you can quickly drag it, go to move to folder and select a location where you want to copy it without having to go in to that location manually. So I think that is pretty nice. And we finally have the new settings app improvements, the new mobile devices settings page. If you go to Bluetooth and devices and then mobile devices, we're going to see that whenever you click on mobile devices, all these options and features related to your mobile phone will be different sections opposed to what they were before a different window that would open. Now I think this is way better. You also have these descriptions that will help you know what each feature does related to your phone connection. We also have the new privacy and security 
settings page, which has some new rearrangements done here, some new descriptions to certain sections. And as you can see, for example, the text and image generation section was moved from the bottom to the top of the privacy and security section. So these are some new features that Microsoft is working on behind the scenes related to Windows 11 25H2. These features will most likely come in a few months time on the main release. But of course, it is nice to know all these new features are tested by Microsoft. As I've said, more information will be in the article below in the video's description, Vive tool, the commands used, and in-depth steps on how to do everything that I've done in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your man from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.